was going through a particularly difficult time. Uh, I was probably about 13, 14. And uh, there was just various things going on in my life. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really feel like this, the school, I felt like the school system was failing me. You know, I was a smart mm -hmm. kid with a, with a, a system that was very hit and miss like there were some teachers that took me seriously but a lot of them were like oh he's just a troublemaker he's just yeah. they didn't they didn't see through that which mm -hmm. i think as a teacher you have to see through that and That's get right. to the root of it and and as you say like bring them out and kind of um, help them to flourish you can't just discard mm -hmm. them and mm -hmm. i remember i was i was failing this business <laughs> uh when i say failing like, i was just not doing very well and um i remember sitting down with this teacher um, so shout out to Miss Zanelli, you're awesome. Um, and she, I would have been 13, 14. It was the beginning of this course and I was doing very badly. And she just sat me down and she, another thing as well, she's a mother. And I think that being a parent often helps when you're a teacher. Yeah. Not, not always, it's not essential, yeah. but I, I do think it helps with your perspective um, and knowing how to communicate and how to approach mm -hmm. uh, children as well. Mm -hmm. And basically she said, what do you want to do with this? And I was like, well, mm. what do you mean? And she's like, you know, best case scenario, what would you want to do? And I just sarcastically said like, oh, I want to ace the course, get the highest possible marks, you know, cause I just knew it wasn't possible. Mm -hmm. And she just turned and looked at me and just, and just dead face just said, okay, we're well, going to need to work very hard then. And I was just shocked. I was like, wait, what? Like, uh, cause I, I expected her to just be like, Oh, okay. Let's, let's focus on a more realistic goal or something like that. Right. But she's like, no, like, you know, if you, if you want it, we, we can, we can work out a plan and we can make this happen. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, Oh, okay. And then I got excited then I was like, Oh, and then I started working my ass mm -hmm. off and with, within a year I was acing the course and I, I finished the course with the highest marks possible uh, mm -hmm. I, t I took the next version of the course uh, in A level between 16 to 18, aced that course and had her as one of my main teachers throughout that whole time. And um, yeah, she, she really helped me sort of turn things around and, and with my attitude and everything. And uh, I guess mm -hmm. my whole point with this is that, you know, um, if you go the extra mile for students, you really show that you care yeah. and you show that you're invested in them. Mm -hmm. the sky's the limit really that's you know true. I mean? it's about giving people mm -hmm. confidence and and you know i had very low self-esteem sounds like many of the kids that you're dealing with have that as well you know the, mm -hmm. their parents are failing them they don't, they don't they don't have people turning around to them and telling them what they can become and yeah. that's really what you need you need people to turn around to you and tell you hey anything is possible you just need to believe mm -hmm. in yourself and work hard